How's it going guys? Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up uh, XBSX2 retail mode on your Xbox Series S and X. So we're going to go ahead and before we start I'm going to go ahead and show you a checklist here of things you would need. So uh, most, most of these are required, a couple are optional. So first thing you'll need is to source a PS2 BIOS. Legally I cannot tell you where you can find that at. You'll have to find it yourself. Same with finding the ISOs and ROMs and stuff like that for XPSX2. Next thing you'll need is WinRAR. WinRAR is a uh, compressed file, sit, uh, file opener used to open compressed files. Most of the time with the websites you get your ROMs from, it will be under like a point, uh, .7z or .rar file. WinRAR opens these and gives you access to uh, the file that's in that compressed file, which in most cases go is going to be the ISO for the game. Next thing you'll need is an external drive. 30 gigabytes is the minimum that uh, myself, Ross, and Buddy over at Buddy's Auto House uh, recommend our community members to use. Uh, you can also, uh, the optimal uh, storage uh, Storage for these devices can be uh, can be upwards of 50 gigabytes. It's optimal for that uh, for that range. 50 gigabytes or more is what you're looking for. And then finally, XPSX2, which I'll show you how to install on your Xbox. Our two optional uh, apps is going to be Mimic and Chudman. Mimic is a PS2 virtual memory card uh, opener. It will open the uh, virtual memory cards on the uh, on XPSX2, so the virtual cards that XPSX2 makes for your game. And then Chidman is a ISO to CHD formatter. Now that we got everything set up, first thing we're going to go ahead and do first is we're going to check to see if uh, the retail mode for XPSX2 is online. Uh, in this Discord here, which I'll link below, is where you're going to is where you're going to check this. Alternatively, as well, Buddy's Auto House has a rudimentary system as well. So as you can see, uh, we have that there. Um, and then, if it shows that green check mark, go over to Retail Announcements, and you're going to look for XBSX2, which is right here. Uh, write this tiny URL down. So write down this URL for uh, later on. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and format our drive. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my drive here. And then give it a moment to read. There we go. So, the file system for external drives that XBSX reads is called NTFS. If your file system is FAT32 or XFAT, you can format it to NTFS and just right click on uh, your drive if you have access to the navigation pane, which you can turn on by going to view and then clicking on this. And then if you right click on your drive, you're going to go ahead and see format quick format and it'll give you this pop up here keep your capacity and allocation unit size the same you're only going to be changing your file system so click to NTFS and then the volume label is what you're gonna call your drive on Windows 10 so I just have it called Windows Drive and then from there you just format you click start uh, I already formatted this so I can just close this out once it is all formatted you're going to create four files. We're going to ignore config here because that's a, because that was a part of my retro arc build that I need to get rid of. So the four saves we're going to be, or the four file or folders we're going to worry about are games, saves, states, and systems. So make folders for all four of these, uh, and then uh, games, self-explanatory. This is where you're going to store your games at. Saves. This is where your saves are. Uh, these are th uh, this, uh, these are the virtual memory cards that XBSX2 pops out 
whenever you're starting a new save for the first time on XBSX2. Uh, states is uh, essentially imagine states like a checkpoint. So if you screw up on a, uh, so if you're doing a race and you want to save a state, just access the XBSX2 pause menu and you can go ahead and create a save state. If you screw up on the race later on, you can go ahead and revert to that state. And then finally, system, this is where you're going to keep your BIOS. So you're going to have two folders made. So one for system, and then you're going to make another one in that system folder for BIOS. And then this is where you're going to put your BIOS at. Uh, now that we have all that covered, we're going to go ahead and teach you how to install XBSX2 and uh, and how to set it up. So see you in a little bit. So here we are, this is XBSX2. How you access it, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly close this so I can show you. So, uh, to download this, just go to My Games and Apps, go to Apps, and then you're going to see Microsoft Edge. Go to Microsoft Edge, and then, whoop, there we go. Uh, and then ignore this page right here. What we're going to worry about is the search bar. Delete that, and you're going to type in the tiny URL that I showed you in that announcement. So we're going to go to tiny URL forward slash, I think it was M P P Y K F V 5. Oh, forgot to put the dot com there. Should probably be useful to do that. Dot com. So it should look something like this. And then you press enter. It'll give you this prompt. This site is trying to open Microsoft Store. You're going to press A on open. And then it will forward you over to this screen. And this is where you're going to download XBSX2. It doesn't take too long to download. Once it's downloaded, just launch the app. And this isn't going to happen once or twice. Uh, it's just a bug that I've noticed. So we're going to give this a couple of more tries here. There we go. So you're going to be greeted with this glorious screen here. So we have games list, start bio, start game, settings, and then exit. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to games list. Now as you can see, because I unplugged a drive from my Xbox, uh, this is empty. Uh, when you have your drive plugged into your Xbox, the first thing you should do is go to uh, add search directory, which is in game list settings. So you press A on this, and then you're going to spam uh, spam press uh, A on parent directory a bunch of times until you see uh, this. Now, when I plug my drive in, it's going to show uh, a D drive. So this is going to take a quick moment here. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and press B and then do the same thing. There we go. There's that D drive. So we're going to press A on that, and you'll see your folders right here. So, you're going to go ahead and go to Games, press A on that, and then you're going to use this directory. And then if I just press B, and then go to Games List, voila, there are all my games. For settings, we're going to go ahead and do a couple of things on settings. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go to Enhancement Settings. This is where you're going to set your internal resolution and all that stuff. So your internal resolution is uh, essentially, uh, we usually set it to the max that that your TV can handle. Uh, Buddy Setup uses 4K, Ross I believe uses 4K as well, and then I just use 1080p because my monitor only uses 1080p. So you can turn your internal resolution up to whatever setting. Just don't go over six times native. Next thing you're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go back a little bit to display settings and aspect ratio. 
if you want to use a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so if your monitor is you know the standard size of a monitor you can go ahead and select 16 by 9 or if you want the nostalgia feel you can go ahead and turn on auto 4 to 3 slash 3 to 2 or just 4 to 3 next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go over to controller settings this or this is where you're going to bind your controller so if you have your controller turned on which is kind of a no duh you can go ahead and see that XPSX2 automatically recognizes your controller port so you're just gonna press A on automatic mapping and then press A on controller 0 and everything should be automatically mapped now mine is already mapped so it didn't change anything and then the second to last thing we're going to do is hotkey settings this is where you're going to turn on your this is where you're going to figure out your hotkey for the pause menu so xpsx2 has its own mod or not mod menu has its own pause menu default it's uh, pressing back and start will access that you can change this to whatever you want I'm gonna use back and start because I think that fits well for me and then finally we're gonna go to directory settings this is this is where you're going to tell XBSX2 what files to read the things we're gonna be worrying about are BIOS memory card and save states do not touch any of these do not touch any uh, and don't touch cache, cheats, covers, uh, deinterlacing, game settings, input profiles, logs, textures, widescreen, and widescreen patches. BIOS, memory card, and save states are going to be the only ones you're going to worry about. So to set up your directory uh, for BIOS, just press A on BIOS. Spam A on parent directory until you see your D drive. Press A on that. And then go to your system. And then BIOS and then we're going to go ahead and click use this directory and then you're just going to repeat this for memory card so for memory card parent directory and then d drive for memory card you're going to go to saves and then you're going to use this directory save states same thing parent directory d drive states use this directory and then now now that you have everything set up, we're going to go ahead and test a game. So I'm going to go ahead and use Need for Speed Underground 2 as an example. I'm going to go ahead and briefly mute my audio input here. So as you can see, Underground 2 is loading. As you can see on the top right there too, you're going to see that your FPS meter. This is turned on stock. So when you install your game, uh, this is gonna. Uh, this is already enabled, so you don't have to worry about it too much. So we're gonna go ahead and briefly skip through here. That way, I can turn on audio input as soon as I boot up the game. So we're gonna go ahead and go through here. I select. I'm gonna select my save here, and then OK. And then now I can turn on my audio input. So we're going to go ahead and test our controls real quick. So we're going to return to explore, I'm going to return to explore mode here. That way I can go ahead and test it out. Uh, come on, load. Oh. There we go. And then if I just press X, it'll reverse. Press A, it'll go forward. Press bumper NOS. If we're doing drag racing, shift up, shift down. Look behind. Change view. And then right stick. Left on D-pad. So left on D-pad, up on D-pad, down on D-pad right on the pad there we go and then if I just go ahead and press back button and start we are now in the XPSX pause menu it is where you save your state load your state and then you can also close the game reset the game if you're bugged out and you can also access the game in global settings here so I'm just gonna go ahead and close game
close game, exit without saving. There we go. Uh, that should teach you mostly everything on uh, how to go ahead and set XBSX2 up for use. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything among that, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description for Buddy's Auto House Discord, of which I am an admin for. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.